vasectomy is a method of contraception for men. It's a surgical procedure and its purpose is to make the man permanently infertile. It's a very effective method. Of all the methods of contraception available, it's, it's the most effective by far. It's become very popular in Ireland. When, when we started doing it 30 years or so ago, I remember people thinking Irish men won't go for this operation and saying so, but the experience has been actually very different and I think we have one of the highest rates of vasectomy in Europe. It's a surgical procedure which is short, generally takes 10-20 minutes depending on the surgeon and how quickly they work, but a relatively short procedure. It's done under local anaesthetic and it, it's not effective immediately. There is, there is a period after the actual operation in which the man becomes gradually infertile in most cases. It does have a very tiny failure rate but very tiny compared to other methods. Generally it takes about four months or thereabouts for the operation to become completely successful and a man is checked with, I mean, he carries out various tests at that time to check that the operation has been complete. It might put the man out slightly for a few days. Most men after the operation feel a little bit sore for a few days. They may need to take mild painkillers. They do need to rest and take it easy for a few days. But most men are back at work two or three days after the operation and the majority can do the work they normally do without any problem. Complications are, major complications are rare, serious complications are extremely rare. Any complications there are tend to be quite minor and treatable. The biggest question that men ask about vasectomy probably is, will it affect my sex life? All the research so far indicates that it has no effect on the sex life and in, in a small minority of men it actually they say sex improves after the operation because it's more spontaneous, they're not messing around with different contraceptive methods or gadgets and so sex is more spontaneous and the worry about pregnancy is gone also or more or less gone. Uh, there, as I mentioned earlier there is the occasional failure so people need to be aware that again that it can fail but it's very 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 small failure rate compared to all other methods. Um, it tends to be a method that people choose around the mid-30s or late 30s when maybe other contraceptive methods are maybe not suitable because of age or they just generally can get fed up with using devices and pills and whatnot and they want a permanent method that's a one-off and that they can rest assured that they have the best contraception available for the rest of their lives. To carry out the vasectomy, the doctor makes a small nick in the scrotum. Of the, the doctor applies anaesthetic first, local anaesthetic, makes a small nick in the scrotum and isolates the spermatic cord and more specifically the vas. Now the vas is the tube which delivers sperm which are made in the testicle. It delivers sperm from the testicle up to around the area of the prostate where it joins the fluid which we call semen and that then when we ejaculate it's a combination of semen plus sperm. So the idea of the operation is to stop the passage of, semen, of sperm from the testicle so that afterwards when the operation is complete the man still ejaculates but he ejaculates semen only which is 98% of what he know, what would have ejaculated in the past so he won't notice any difference. Um, the, the actual tube that delivers the sperm from the testicle is isolated, a small section of it is removed and the two open ends are, are blocked up in various ways. And it's usually most people perform it on, on in one side first and then the other some people just use one incision and isolate each tube through that one incision. And the incision tends to be very small and heals very quickly in most instances. So often within a week, even the scar is difficult to see following the operation. <laughs>